Up next, we've got uh, some Fernando Botero. Fantastic, um, great, unique style of exaggeration. We're going to see a couple of pieces by Botero. This is the Colombian artist. In fact, he th even he says, I am the Colombian <laughs> artist. Uh, but, you know, from a country that may has maybe not spawned quite so many uh, great artists as, as, as others, he really has, he, he's, you know, he kind of straddled the entire world as being just a giant. Mm -hmm. uh, born in 1932, still painting today. Uh, in fact, he recently had a show not, uh, just several years ago um, uh, doing documenting the Abu Ghraib. Oh, yeah. Uh, prison. So, wow. this, is, you know, this is somebody who has, you know, really has a take on the last 60, 70 years that's very, incredibly unique. Yeah, and uh, very relevant, remained relevant over absolutely. Uh, quite and a number of years. This is very much him. He had this mm -hmm. kind of deep interest, he said, in the sensual plastic language of painting. And this mm -hmm. is sort of the gigantism of this mandolin, which right. apparently actually, this is actually a subject matter that inspired him to go in this direction, to do these sort of really? giant pieces. He one day was drawing a mandolin. And the, Put the, and put that little dot that we're going across right now, mm -hmm. right in the middle, and realize that by doing that, the whole thing all of a sudden looked enormous. Right. And he kind of loved this idea of playing with how, how things looked, how we, how, how we look at things in the real world, sure. and, then how they, and then how they look once we look at them in a different way. Right. So it's like, here's a, you know, in crowd, it's a common, it's a mandolin, it's a typical Colombian instrument. Right, and very small instrument, yeah. in fact. But look, looking incredibly large, I mean, taking up the entirety of the chair, yeah. um, it, it's amazing to me that it still has um, a feeling of being somewhat small, although it's obviously incredibly large, and playing with all of those different aspects of sort of space and time. And yeah, very it's, interesting to look at. Everything you see from him is very sculptural. A real depth and a real three-dimensionality to everything he does, and I think this is equally so. You know, with these shadows and things like that, the painting actually feels like it has weight. Yeah. And I, you know, and that's why I think it's, that's one of the really great things about Botero is that this is so, it's sort of sculpture on the page. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I'm so glad that we have a number of Boteros to share with you today. This one, a limited edition photo lithograph, only 200 reproductions. Uh, this is a mint condition, and we have a gallery list price on this around five hundred dollars. It's only going for one ninety five. Ninety-five. Yeah, and That's this is an artist only going to, you know, has only gone up in value. Right, because we have to remember, he's still living today. Still living, still yeah. painting, and these are sort of his most. These, the ones that we're going to show you today are really the most classic, in mm -hmm. many ways, the most classic images. One very particular. This is certainly the mandolin is done over and over again. I said before, it yeah. was kind of. This is kind of the genesis, in many ways, of his style. Sure. Yeah, and a great piece could be yours.